Then let's head across the pond for some more analysis of Her Majesty's remarkable reign and some insight into what happens with the monarchy now. We are joined by a member of the British House of Lords, Lord John Taylor. Uh, Lord Taylor, thank you for coming on. We appreciate your time, sir. I just want your, I just want your feelings when you heard uh, today or yesterday for you that the Queen had passed. You knew her. You were very fond of her. What did you feel? Well, Trace, uh, greetings to you from London. My condolences and prayers, of course, go out to the royal family on the sad passing of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. Yes, I met um, the Queen on a number of occasions at Buckingham Palace and various receptions and events all around Britain. And indeed, Lady Taylor, my wife, also met her. And she was quite, uh, you know, glad to know that she was an American. The special relationship was very important to the Queen. She was 96, so it was going to happen at some time, but it was still a shock because she was the grandmother of the nation. She is above politics. She never complained. She never explained. She was a true leader in so many ways. And so although we knew she was going to pass at some stage, we are in shock, I have to be frank. And I feel very sad, very, very sad today. You know, it's interesting, Lord Taylor, because you talk about the shock, and today the Daily Mail ran a headline, and it said that the, the country was in shock, that the UK was in shock, and that, and that some people push back saying, well, she was 96 years old. But as you say, I mean, 96 years old, and you expect her to keep going on. We got some sound from some people outside of Buckingham Palace, and I want to get your reaction on the other side of this. Listen to this, sir. I think it's not just London that's mourning today. I think it's the entire world. We're going to miss the Queen a lot. She's a very exemplary role model for the entire world to follow by. It's going to be quite different. New Prime Minister, new monarch. Who knows what will happen now? She has been like a constant for more than 70 years. The last remnant of sanity in an insane world, isn't it? Tonight, we're all just coping with the news of a seismic change. This feels like uncertainty and you hope it'll be fine, but you're not sure. I was somewhat struck by the woman who said that we are all just coping with the news of seismic change. Would you agree with that assessment, Lord Taylor? Well, Trace, I would. A true leader is a healer. And the world is going through a very difficult time cost of living crisis, energy crisis, the war in Ukraine. And she had the ability to rise above all that and to make you feel good. I met her on a number of occasions and she gave me the impression that I was the most important person in the world to her at that very moment. And that was a, a rare gift. And so she leaving the stage, as it were, has left us feeling, well, what next? Because we are in national mourning of a queen yeah. but the national making of a king. And so the baton, as it were, now passes to Prince Charles. Yeah. Will he carry on the baton? Will he be the true leader that heals the nation? And the, the king that you speak of uh, said this in a statement quoting here, the death of my beloved mother, Her Majesty the Queen, is a moment of the greatest sadness for me and all members of my family. We mourn profoundly the passing of a cherished, sovereign, and much-loved mother. I know her loss will be deeply felt throughout the country, the realms and the Commonwealth, and by countless people around the world during this period of mourning and change. My family and I will be comforted and sustained by our knowledge of the respect and deep affection in which the Queen was so widely held. We know that, that King Charles III will now address the nation tomorrow in a few hours, your time, sir. Uh, what does he need to say in that address? Well, Trace, he's gone from prince to king, from regent to ruler. And he will be addressing the nation. I think it's going to be a pre-recorded television address, I believe. He needs to reassure us that the throne is in safe hands. He is a very different person to his mother. I think his mother really was universally loved, whereas mm -hmm. the media regarded um, Prince Charles as a bit of a meddler because Prince Charles would uh, express his views on political uh, issues, whereas the Queen wouldn't do that. And so Prince Charles, or the King Charles III now, needs to reassure us. It's reassurance we now need to settle mm. us down.
That reassurance could come just hours from now. Uh, Lord John Taylor, thank you, sir, for coming on. We appreciate your time. Thank you, Trace.